All right, welcome back to Great Day Connecticut. Quick question, do you still need an idea for dinner? I feel like I <laughs> always, always, always have that question. Every single night. <laughs> well, don't worry, Scott, Kara, and Chef Plum have us covered. Yeah, they teamed up to make a chicken and rice dish that's good for the whole family, and Chef Plum revealed a secret to make it taste even better. Check it out. I'm gonna add a little olive oil to our pan to start getting it hot, Okay. all right? Now, when it comes to using chicken, I say it all the time, people use chicken breasts, use, use chicken thighs. Chicken they're thighs. so much more flavorful, they're and so they're much cheaper. more, and it's much, so much cheaper. You get a big pack of them for like $4, right? Okay. And they taste better. So I got the oil in there, I'm gonna put my chicken thighs whole. You can chop these up if you want, right? Now that's with the bone in them? No, no bones. No bones. You, hey. Boneless chicken thighs. That's it, but bone in would be great too. Uh, okay. It would be great. So you can buy, bo I didn't know you could buy boneless chicken you thighs. You can buy yeah. boneless, but I know you, sometimes the chef will even like the bones in because like like they're the more flavor. Yeah, but this yeah. is Easier. This is so much easier for everybody. And what happens is the little bit of fat that's on there, don't be afraid of it. Let it melt down in there, add so much flavor, don't be scared of it. Okay. Okay. okay? So the chicken thighs are cooking in here. And once they start to cook, the last thing I'll say about the thighs, they will break apart naturally if you start just, just gently pulling them apart. Just stay really? right there. Yep. No, even if you're not using a crock pot, you got it. Okay. You got it. A little mirepoix, carrots, onions, and celery, add yep. a lot of flavor. Put that in there. Use the grocery store as your prep to try that. You got it. You got it. So mix that around, let that get nice and happy in there. Then we're going to hit it with chorizo. One of my favorite sausages to use, the pork sausage, Spanish style. A little bit of heat, not a whole ton of heat, oh, yeah. and super easy to use. So we're going to add those in there. Do you that already cooked at the store? So it, it comes cured, right? Okay. So you chop it up, and then you want that that uh, fat that's in there to render down. It sounds bad when I say that to you, because I know you do so many like things with health food. But fat is so good. You healthy you know, fat. You want healthy fat. That's it, healthy fat. I'm not sure three so counts. Well, <laughs> jury's out. Yeah. But you use olive oil. That's what we're that's using. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So we've got that in there. So in our pan, we've got our chicken. We've got our mirepoix. We've got our chorizo. Let's add a little bit of chopped peppers to it now. Nice. Okay? So color. I have those in my freezer right now. Can I use frozen ones? You, <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Yes, you they could. They should be thawed first, though. No one's going to be mad at you okay. for using frozen Except peppers. Except Ken. I mean... We may not text anymore, but you know, I'm just saying. No, I'm kidding. I Stay away frozen from frozen is supposed to be just as good as fresh. They never right. come out as good. In this application, yes, I think a frozen would be fine. Okay. But it's up there with garlic. Stay away from it. <laughs> in my route. Uh, in my world. No All right. garlic in the jar. That's right. Okay, yeah. So that's so in here, just to recap, we've got our, our chicken thighs, our chorizo, our mirepoix, our peppers. I've got a little uh, black pepper here, a little uh, chili powder, and some fresh garlic. I'm going to add that all to it. Okay. Let's put it all in there, right? It's delicious. And I noticed there's not salt in there. Not yet. Okay. We are going to salt it because you got to salt it up. Okay. So we're going to give it a little spin around, let it get nice and happy. Add a few cranks of our salt to it. You want to salt your food. Salt is not as bad as everybody thinks it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, no. not, it, it's, it's a whole lot of studies coming out about that yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sometimes we need it for... Right. But I wasn't sure if we could use chorizo if that meant we didn't need it. You need a little more salt in there still. So then what I do is I take about a cup of brown rice. Okay. okay. Right Uncooked. in there. Right in there, right? Uncooked. I love like it. Like I said, one pot meal. We're going to let that get some of that oil on there too. There we go. We're gonna add a little bit of tomato. Love tomato. Like this crushed is, tomato. This is just some crushed tomatoes. Yeah, about a half a can right in there. Okay. Spin this around, let it get nice and hot. And we're almost there. This is already almost there. All okay. in one pot. Like I said, piece of cake. Okay. Then what I do is I'm gonna pour in about a quart or so of uh, chicken stock. Now the reason we're using more chicken stock than you know you normally would for something like this, you would think at least. You cook rice. You gotta cook the rice. The okay. rice has gotta have something to, to absorb. Okay. And once you get this in here, then you're gonna add these beans. What kind of beans? Kidney? These are just kidney, kidney beans. You can use whatever beans you want, or you don't have to use beans at all. It's your dish. Make it however you want it, you know? Okay. I like the beans in there. I think it adds a little starch, which is nice. Okay. We're going to add a little more stock to it, because I didn't add enough. Okay. What do they call that on the bottom? Glaze? Uh, fond. Fond. F-O-N-D. Yes. F-O-N-D. Yes, yes. And that takes that fond. I was going to talk about that, too. I'm glad you brought it up, I'm, 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 I'm just here to help. I just feel like after all these years, like, maybe you do listen to me. This is great. <laughs> I'm excited. So here we go. Now I'm going to let this get covered and just let this stay here and get happy for about 45 minutes. And what happens is the magic. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Look how beautiful this looks. And you've this, got it. Talk about meal prep. You have it all week long. All week long. If you can get a shot inside of it. Look how beautiful that looks, right? Oh, my God. I took my stunning. tongs, just broke up easily some of that chicken with my tongs. Look at this. Let me show you how to taste it. Oh, this. that's right, because they went in whole. So that's you right. don't have to worry about it later. No. Look, here, take a little spoonful of this here. Oh, we got to find your spoon. I thought I had one out here, but okay. maybe you've got some hidden over there. Scott, do you have a little spoon over there? I, unfortunately. I, oh. Here, you can eat with tongs. Scott, perfect. There you I go. got something over and here. Carrie, I have a big spoon you can eat with, but I wanted you to try it to see because it's 
not too much spice, not too much uh, um, 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 oh, like yeah. overwhelming smokiness. That chorizo adds so much mm. flavor without overpowering you with spice. Mm. One pot, right? And it's so much better than like, I mean, of course, because it's you, but you know those meal kits, they taste uh, like absolutely. so salty and everything. This yes. is so much better. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. Easy. You make a big pot of that, have it for a couple of days when it's cold outside. How we mm. use that for dinner, right? Mm. So good. Mm. Excellent. Mm. One pot meals are my favorite. All right. Yeah. And how long does this take to make? 45 minutes? About 45 minutes. But a hands yeah. off time. I mean, was it? Oh, yeah. It, 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 now it's just sitting and hanging out, let it ride. Yeah. Occasionally check on it. You know, go, go, take, go take a nap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, just set your timer on your phone so you know when to wake up. That's all. Right. all. How do we get in touch with you? Absolutely. Chefplum.com. Go check me out there and on Instagram at chef underscore plum. I'm trying to get better about it. Carrie just told me I need to post more uh, recipes. Well, because I I'm learned so to. much from you, but I want to put it on Instagram so all of you learn about it. You're right. It. Yeah, yeah. I need to do more. I'm going to get better yeah. at it. I promise yeah, you. You're 2024. I love it. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Chef Plum. Thank you. You're the best.